last of the internet series that I'm doing. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about one of my favorite web browsers, Mozilla Firefox. Now there are a couple different ones that I recommend. You know, of course you have Internet Explorer 8, which is a decent enough web browser. I tend to get a lot of viruses and stuff through it though. I tend to go with uh, Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome. I'll talk about Google Chrome later. I just want to show you a cool little thing that you can do with Firefox. Of course we all know the web browsing, you got your tabs and everything and you can peruse your your different sites than, uh, that you would normally be able to do with any other web browser. This one loads things a little bit faster than I find uh, I'm able to in Internet Explorer. Let me go to a page I haven't even been to before on here. And I'll try like PCMag.com. And it usually loads pretty fast. Now I don't have the fastest connection in the world, but it does load everything pretty quickly. Now let's uh let's go into Internet Explorer and try this out here. And I don't want it to be the default because I don't plan on using it. So PCMag.com, here we go, we're loading. And it has gotten a, a lot better than what it used to be as far as loading pages. Uh, still, yeah, it just kind of clunks along a little bit more than uh, I would hope. And so, you know, with Firefox, it seems to load pages a little bit better. I like the, the feel of it just a little bit more. And if you look, you can't really tell too much of a difference. One thing I like that sets apart the latest version of Firefox, and if I go into about Mozilla Firefox, that's version 3.6.3 .3 is the one I'm currently on. By the time this gets out, who knows, maybe it'll change again. But one of the cool things is personas. And personas allow you to customize your web browser a little bit more. And now, keep in mind, uh, Firefox 4 is in the works. They're doing some really cool stuff with it, so be on the lookout for that when it does come out. But personas, they dress up your web browser. Now these are something that is pretty much ready to go for you uh, right off the bat when you install the latest and greatest. Mozilla Firefox, and what it does is it just changes the look and overall theme of your web browser, so you can customize it however you want, you know. Uh, there's tons and tons of different personas that you can have. Some are even animated. There's a, a cool one that's a matrix theme that actually uh, flows all the binary code down. But there's just a lot and a, a lot and ton of these different ones that you can look at, try out, you like Pulp Fiction, yep, you can customize it. Now, you can do this by default in Google Chrome. It's one of the easiest things to do there. Uh, all I have to do here is, when I find something I like, wear it. And now, my browser's all set to go. And I can do tons of different things. And you can, with tab browsing, you know, you can always move your tabs around. You can open up a completely new window, go back and forth here. Um, if you hold down Control Tab, you can switch between your tabs. Control Shift Tab will move you backwards and cycle through the tabs backwards. Pretty simple stuff, but Control Tab does help you cycle through those different tabs that you have. So it's kind of like Alt Tab except for your web browser. So it can be pretty handy when you're trying to go back and forth all the time. But that's just a little bit of a taste of Firefox. I hope you try it out.